Hello, I'm Matt Landis, and today I'd like to welcome you to the quick review of the Linksys 941. The Linksys 941 is a low-cost phone, approximately $90 to $100 if you check on Google. has nice fit and finish. The handset feels like a real handset in your hand. Um, you do also have a latch if you want to have it on the wall. It is has a nice, nice fit and finish, nice colors. Um, the buttons feel good. The one thing is it does not have, it, it's either tilted at a, what is this, about a 45 degree angle or flat in the desk. And you can see that by, just remove that if you want to let it lay flat. I think most people would want it tilted so they can see it nice. All right, how do you dial a number? Why don't we just go ahead and do that? You can press 100. I'm just going to dial another extension here on my, and then pick the phone up and that dials it. We'll hear it picking up there. Let's hang up again. Um, another way to dial is to go 100 and then hit the speaker button to do a speaker call. Once again, I'll just hang up on that. And then the last way would be to go 100 and hit the soft button. All right, so there's a couple ways to dial there, and I think you can find one that fits you. And then I'll just quickly dial, we'll just check out the speakerphone volume, which I think is sufficient. And we'll just hit dial, and it'll be on speakerphone. Yeah. Oh, it's Tony. We can Good adjust. Business search. Stop quotes. Pretty good volume. Center. And it's nicely, you can nicely adjust it as the call is in progress. And I'm sorry, I still didn't get that. And we'll just oh, practice putting a call on hold and really just hit the hold button. And a blinking line light means that we've got a call on hold. And we can pick that call up again just by pressing it. To find out all the categories that are available, say main menu. And to hang up, you just hit that light again. That, that has been the most consistent way. Either hang the handset up or hit the line light if you want to do it from a button. And then another thing we have here is a, once again, I'll just make a call. Pick up here. And if we want this call to be muted, we can just hit the mute button here. And you can see, you can see I just muted my other phone too so we don't get ring uh, circular audio there. But a nice big red light can't hardly, can't help but miss that you're on mute there. And I'll unmute it and I'll hang up there. All right, so we have the mute button. And why don't we do an attended transfer? I'm going to call this phone and then I'll trans do an attended transfer. So we pick it up. I want to do a, a transfer. And I want to do it to transfer it to extension 101. The phone is ringing. Pick it up. And we can, we can talk to them. And once we're ready to transfer, we just hit transfer. And now the other two extensions are connected. You can't see them, but they're, they are connected. I'll just hang that up again. Hang this one up again. Now the other thing, I'm going to do a blind transfer. And this one, I hear some complaints in the web. So we pick up the call, and now we have to hit the right arrow key, BX for blind transfer, hit that button, and hit 101. And transfer. All right, so I'll just hang that up. That was a. And since I have, I'll just ignore that. But the blind transfer. The one complaint I hear is that you have to hit that right arrow. It's like just an extra keystroke. I can understand. I can understand the the. It seems like if you're doing it all day long, some people might complain about that. All right. And the do not disturb button is a soft button, so. I'm just going to clear that out, and there we have the do not disturb, so that means you can't, can't call this phone at that point. And record calls, that's one thing, there really is not a way to press a button as your call is in progress and record it. With 3CX, if you want to record a call with this phone, you have to have it always on or always off, unlike some of the higher end phones that would have a, a hard button that lets you read toggle call recording. The redial button is pretty nice, just redial and you can call the last call. 
shows the name and the number very nicely there. Just cancel out of that. And the voicemail button, we have a voicemail button right here. The MDI is a nice big red button. We have a voicemail right there. So if we hit this button, whether, whether or not you have a voicemail, if you hit this button, it will go into the voicemail menu. Please enter personal identification number, then press pound. You have one new message. Press star to play. To delete message, press star to cancel. Message deleted. You have. Okay, so that's how we go through a nice big MDI. No matter whether you have a voicemail or not, if you hit the voicemail button, it will get your voicemail. All right. And one of the buttons I noticed, I don't have my notes, but this is the uh, the setup menu right there. I'll just cancel out of that. And this phone does work with the uh, intercom. We just do a star nine. 101, which is the extension of that phone. Call it. Hello? Hello? And we'll notice that the paging does work. So we, I mean, sorry, that was the intercom and the 3CX paging, I would assume, also works fine. And the ringer sound, you've been hearing that. And another thing, BLF indication. This phone has lines, but does not have BLF indication, as I understand. Uh, it does not have... It also does not have a secondary uh, Cat5 plug to plug your PC in if you only have one Cat5 coming out of the wall. So you take, take that into consideration. My opinion is that uh, I don't like plugging a PC in there anyway, but some people do. Keep that in mind. This phone is a low-cost phone. does not have power over Ethernet. Uh, it does have uh, a headset jack right here. And it... Another question, another question might be, is it 3CX recommended? It, look, it sounds like it is 3CX supported, but not recommended. My assumption is because there's no BLF. Another thing, does it support uh, uh, provisioning via DHCP option 66? The answer is yes. Does it have a web interface? Yes, it has a nice web interface. It only takes about five minutes to set up a 3CX. Once again, no BLF is supported. Uh, it's not recommended or not designated recommended by 3CX. Summary, nice, low-cost phone. I like the lights. They're, they're, it's a pleasing phone, works nice. It does not have BLF, once again. And I'd like to thank you for watching this review. We'd be glad for you to rate this video. And if there's any errors, please post them as comments. And if you would like the 3CX Buyer's Kit, go to landiscomputer.com forward slash 3CX. Once again, thanks.